Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Ashwini and I love making plushies and amigurumi toys. And in today's video, we are going to talk about my very first market that happened on this last Saturday. So let's get started. I'm really very sorry that I have very less footage of the market. I was so overwhelmed with the experience, you guys. And I had the camera and the tripod all set up, but I did not take any clips. I'm really sorry. And I'm going to do that next time. I'll make sure like I take some clips or make do some check-ins in between. I just did one check-in for my very first sale and then I didn't do anything. So, and I also didn't take a before and after picture. So, yep. <laughs> and to talk about the market. Hey guys, today is market day. And I've just left my house and you can see my car. It's fully packed. It's jammed packed, you guys. And once I reach and I'll start the setup and I'll shoot that as well and let you guys know how the day goes. So, stay tuned. Bye. the market was like uh, it, it was a parking lot so it's a boutique it's like a handmade uh, boutique called as makers uh, makers hub and they have a parking space in front of them so the market is basically in a parking lot just outside their handmade boutique shop um, a day or two before I received the location uh, like where my my number basically so I was number 11 and uh, where I'm, I'm supposed to set up and all that stuff right so they did send all the information like uh, two days prior i think and on the day of the market like i had so much stuff left till the early morning like morning saturday i got up at around five o'clock and i was still you know fidgeting around everything like making sure like i have the things that i have to carry like you know making a check i already made a checklist a night before and i was just making sure like anything is remaining and still i had some cuttings to do of my visiting card and the thank you card they were still pending until the very last moment so i managed to finish up that then i packed lunch for my uh, son and you know we packed all his diaper bag and all that stuff in the morning and we were set so we reached there around 8 35 uh quarter to nine and the setup starts at 8 45 so we were like just on time uh, as soon as we reached like people were setting up their market there were around 14 vendors it was a very small pop-up event so and i thought like it's good for me because you know i have anxiety you guys so i get anxious if i you know get overwhelmed and all that stuff so i, I was like okay so let's start small and there were only 14 vendors a very small space and this market like when i went to the location it was like if you you know if i'm a customer and if i'm really interested in buying something i am going to drive all the way to there because besides that location there is nothing you guys like uh like you know there is no foot traffic or anything like i i don't see anybody like just walking in you know you need a car if you have to go there and it's a little isolated so uh, for me it was like good in one way because i thought like you know it's going to be small so i won't get overwhelmed or i'll get anxiety or anything so i was like okay let's go slow so for that it was okay uh, so I reached there at around 8.30, 8.45 because that was the time when, you know, the setup starts. The market was from 10 to 3, regular hours. And we reached there at 8.45. Um, and when I reached, I saw like everybody were just, you know, doing their stuff, like putting up their tent and everything. I think we were second last <laughs> to reach there. After me, there was one more um, vendor. They showed up. So I was like second last to show up there and setting up the tent took a very long time you guys i don't know how my husband managed it like but he did it the most difficult part was the tent 
i must say like in the event to put up the tent i really hated it but of course because we'll it's it's new so as we'll get used to it so it's going to be okay but i really dreaded putting up the tent and then after that um i started the prep and everything like putting the toys and you know because and a good thing that i did a mock-up setup in the house to see how i wanted to put stuff so I'll, I'll just put some clips here i know i was going to do a proper video but i didn't i didn't get time so i i just have some clips of me setting up so i'll put that right here So I set that up and yeah, we were all ready by around 10. there were no customers you guys so for the start one hour like there were hardly like one or there was hardly one person like with uh there was a lady with her daughter she was the very first one to show up and she just went around everybody's corner to see and by the way if i didn't mention there was one more crochet in such a tight space there was one more competitor uh she makes plushies so we were on the opposite ends so there were two crocheters in a very small space so competition you guys <laughs> but it didn't matter because my toys were quite different than what she was selling so it was like okay and then uh around 11 i was i was panicking i was like oh my god there is nobody coming up like you know at least uh, I, I had in my mind like even if I don't have any sales like you know it's okay it's my first time uh, I just did a pep talk before I left uh, for the market in the uh, for the market in the morning but you know eventually when you are at the you are at the market you are like at least you are like at least one toy should get sold like you know just to boost up my moral and around 11 I was like oh my god I don't have any sales like I, I started like little panicking and my husband was like just relax it's okay 
and the organizers were so sweet they came they checked up on everybody you know they gave them information and all that stuff and she personally came and told me like it's your very first market and for our market like there is no much food traffic but people do trickle in and uh, so you don't have to worry uh, just think about quality over quantity so you know you will get some sales don't worry about it like you know she was she just came and gave a pep talk to everybody so uh, at 11 11 30 then some people started to show up and <laughs> as soon as some people came i had my very first sale and i sold a booty turtle you guys so uh, this were like the last minute preps I made a booty turtle like two days before the market and it was just a trial I was uh, I was like I'll make something different and I was like okay just make one of the booty turtle let's see how it does and it was my very first sale so this lady comes in and she was like oh you have such beautiful toys and all that stuff and uh, she picked up the booty turtle and I was like, oh, if you remove the shell, you have a surprise inside. And she was like, really? And then she just removed the shell and there were like <laughs> booties inside. So she was like, oh my God, I have to buy it now. And then she bought it. And then the nightmare happened with me. So I asked her like, how would she like to pay? And she said, I'll just tap. Uh, so I was like, oh my God, square. Like I saw so many videos. As you, as I told you guys, I will do a practice run. I did. And I froze there when she said that I want to tap. I was looking through my cell phone, looking through the app uh, to find the turtle. And I couldn't, like I had the list of things, right? Like the inventory in my squares. And I couldn't find the turtle and i started panicking and my baby was crying in the background so my husband was held like he had him and i couldn't even call him for help and i'm, I'm looking at my app and i couldn't find the turtle of course it was in front of me but you know i i i was like blinded so i kept searching and then i forgot how do i take it manually like if i don't want to click it from the inventory i can also go and just tap manually right how much is the price and I, I panicked there as well and I just froze. I was like, and then she told me like, if you need a minute, it's okay. Uh, I can also do an e-transfer to you. So I was like, yes, please, please do an e-transfer. And I gave her my email address. And in that panic state, I also, the actual price for the turtle, for the booty turtle was $18. And when she asked me, I was like, it's 15. I was like, it's okay. Uh, I'll just give her a discount or something. So uh, she told me, okay, I'll just do a e-transfer for you. And in that panic state, I was like, okay, okay, do an e-transfer. And I packed this stuff and I gave it away and she left. And after like, uh, and people started coming in. So I was like busy with that. And I forgot that the e-transfer never came. And I was like, oh my God, like my first sale of the day. And I didn't even collect the money. So much of mess in that, you know, my first sale, I was like, oh my God, like, I'm not liking this and my husband was like no it's okay just chill chill and during my free time I was just scrolling and I got a because I had given a thank you card right with all my uh, Instagram handles and all that in the bag so it's suppose she went home and uh, the customer she followed me she sent me a request uh, no she followed me on my um, Instagram and I was like yeah I recognize her and then I followed her back and by the time other customers came and by the time like I saw my Instagram, she I already had a message from her like, you know, I bought this cute little booty turtle from you, but I think that the e-transfer didn't went through. Can you please send me the email address again and I will send you an e-transfer like, oh my God, thank God, like, you know, that she reached out to me again and then we sorted out. So I got the money. So <laughs> I'll never forget this. So my first sale and uh, so I sold a booty turtle. Uh, I'll go one by one like what I sold. So my first uh, was the booty turtle. I'll put the images right here somewhere. Uh, I sold it for $15. By the way, I did not record this, but uh, I also had made a chicken. Remember in my last second last video, I had told you that I'll make a chicken which has a booty. 
so i did make and i forgot to click pictures and to post it on instagram and all that stuff so i did make that and i just happened to tell the organizer like you, you know if you pick up the chicken you have a surprise <laughs> and she saw it and oh my god she was like this is your star seller you should you know like people will get attracted to that toy and as soon as my next customer came in i was like i and i told them about the chicken and they were so excited and they bought it and it got sold so good job there the, my second sale was the chicken with a booty and it was for $20 so that got sold then i sold a mermaid for $20 and then a jellyfish for $15. Then I sold a chubby dino for $20. Next was a cow for $25. Then I sold two chickens for $25 each. This was so cute. This lady comes up to my counter and she just gives a look to all the stuff and she picks up the lamp and she's like, I'll take this. So I, <laughs> I sold that for $35. Then comes a, a small boy with his mama and he his mom was buying some bracelets from my neighboring vendor and the boy kept looking at my counter and he initially told like I was listening to him and he initially was telling his mom that I want the jumbo bee so the bumblebee that's there on that table I want that and his mom was like okay let me buy this bracelets and then we'll you know head to that counter so once he comes uh, to my counter he sees my lobster and he's like i want this and his mom was like now you don't want the bumblebee you want this do you know what is this and he's like no i don't know and i was like it's a lobster and he's like, yeah, yeah, I, I want this i want this and his mom was like no let's go to all the other vendors and see if you like anything else if you don't like anything else we will buy this lobster because there was a crochet artist again right a crochet vendor at the very end so she wanted to see if he likes something there and they went and after a while like and then i had other customers i forgot about that and after a while like you know uh, they come back and he's like hey i want this i didn't like anything else and i want this I was like, <laughs> so his mom was like yes you can have this now so i sold the lobster for 25 dollars then i sold a loaf cat for 18 dollars a mini one a mini loaf cat for 18 dollars then I sold two small chickens. So this was like my last minute prep, like before leaving the house. I was not even going to take these chickens, but I thought, you know, at least I'll put them in a bag and take them. Uh, I'll insert a clip if I have somewhere here uh, of the two chickens. So they were in a polyfill bag. And yeah, so I sold that for $20. So unexpected. See guys, you should always... One of the lessons was that don't uh, like think like this will sell or this wouldn't because I thought this were just trial chickens and I didn't want to bring them but I just brought them anyways and it got sold. So I sold those two small chickens for $20 and next I sold a husky for $45. So this girl comes up right in my tent with a small girl with her dad and she doesn't look anywhere she just picks up the husky she comes and she's like i want to buy this and his dad is like okay do you take cash or card he didn't even see the amount <laughs> what was it and i said it's for 45 dollars and he's like okay i'll do cash and he just hands me over 45 dollars so that was cool and there were two girls who came to my counter and one of which she as soon as she came she picked up my frog doll and she was like this is so cute and i could see her see it on her face like she really really liked the doll it's my favorite doll too and i was hoping that it doesn't get sold but uh, <laughs> i will make another one for myself it is so cute it's my favorite thing from the market so she picked up that and she was like, yeah, this is so cool. And her friend was like, okay, just keep it and uh, maybe we'll come back later or something. They uh, said something I didn't listen. And then they went off. And then when I came back home in the evening, I get the message on Instagram. She was like, do you still have the frog doll? I came to the market, but I was I came back to your counter, but it was too late and you were packing up the stuff. So I couldn't, you know, approach you. Do you still have the frog doll left? And I was like, yes, I do. And then she was like, uh, do you have any other stuff left as well? So I had taken a small clip of the counter, right? So I just sent it to her just for her to have a look, you know, of things that I still have or might have because I have multiples. 
so she liked the dinosaur the chubby dinosaur uh, it was in multicolor so she liked that and she bought it from me and she came up uh, she came next day to pick it up so i made those two sales as well so my frog doll went for 30 dollars and my chubby dino also went for 30 dollars so this was all in all uh, everything that got sold so to just sum it up my market was on uh, my market was on saturday so on sunday morning i again get a message on instagram i think the lady she also came to the market and she was going through my instagram and she saw this uh, stingray fish she was like i would love if uh, you know i uh, i could get this uh, stingray in a larger size and i got a custom order for a stingray and also for a cute cat so i am going to prep those so the stingray went for 60 dollars and the cat for 30 so i have to prep those and i'm going to uh, she's going to pick it up on this coming sunday so i got a custom order for 90 dollars so all in all so on square i made 190 uh, on square i made 198.85 dollars in cash i made 88 dollars on e-transfers i made 75 dollars and the custom order was for $90. So all in all, this market made me $451.85. Yay! So I am so happy, you guys. All in all, I did not think, I did not think that I'm going to make any sales. And I also didn't think that I'm going to, you know, get my market fee back. But yes, we did. We did it, guys. So we did $451.85. And I'm so grateful uh, to all those people who purchased my toys. And guess what? As soon as I came home on Saturday, I got a message from another uh, event manager. Like they have a market uh, and it's in a school for Father's Day. So I signed up. So on this Saturday, again, I have a market. I'm not prepping anything because I have two bins of stuff still left. So I'm just going to bring that with me. And let's see fingers crossed how it goes and this time i will try to at least record some of the footage during the market and it's an indoor market so i don't have to put the tent up so i just need a table and i just took a space for one table uh, so it's like six feet table and it's indoors and i will take you guys along on that journey with me so stay tuned for it and i hope it's going to be fun and yep that was it for today's video you guys i am so happy of making so many sales and hopefully next time if i go to a market where you know there's little more foot traffic might be i'll make some more sales so let's hope for the best you guys so see you around and see you back in my next video please follow me on instagram naughty collection and I'm trying my best to put some clips and, uh, you know, to boost up my Instagram posting. Uh, so please guys, follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my content. And let's see you in the next video. Bye.